While analyzing an application's memory usage, we often have type instances we want to quickly identify in multiple views or snapshots. .memory lets us mark these instances, so it's easier to find them. Let's see. We have a workspace here for an application that shows advertisements while working with it. After clicking an ad, we wrote the necessary code to close it in the application. When comparing a snapshot before clicking the ad and after clicking it, we can see the ad window remained in memory, even though we did not expect this. Let's mark it so we can easily find it in the various views while analyzing our issue. There are a couple of ways to mark an instance. We can use the context menu or the keyboard shortcuts to mark it with a group number. We can choose from 10 different groups. Once we select one, we can see a flag appear next to the instance with a small number in there that refers to the group. Now let's remove the mark for a second. If we just want the instance to be visible enough, we can also use a random mark. This will assign a random color to the instance. I'm using the Ctrl M keyboard shortcut here to toggle the instance marker. Another option is to apply a custom marker. Let's do that through the context menu. We can give our marker a name and pick any color for it. There we are. Now let's return to the snapshots overview. In every snapshot, we can now see a new link to the marked objects in a snapshot. This already tells us the add window was not there in the first one, appeared in the second one and is still there in the last one. Clicking the link will bring us to the marked instances for the snapshot, in this case just one but it can be multiple as well. We can again drill deeper and look at the instance. We can also look at the different views, like key retention paths for example. This will also show the marker so we can easily identify our object in there. Check our website for more tutorials. Thank you for watching. Take care.